Hey everybody, Daryl here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Hakuoki Kyoto Wins. We are on Susumu Yamazaki's route, and I believe we're going to have all the endings in this video because I'm pretty sure we're coming up on his continuation ending very shortly, so I'm pretty sure the other endings will fit in this video. But let's see. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Hey, over there, that's... Hijikata Yamazaki. Chizuru is there too. Hey, everyone alive over there? Nagakura and Harada. A wave of relief came to me upon seeing our friends running over to us. I let out a big sigh. I'd helped lift Yamazaki since he passed out, and hope flickered in my heart. And here we are at that final chapter. So, yep, getting there. I recalled the fall of the Magistrate, our escape from the Satsuma, and our fight with the Demon. After a long wait, we'd reached Osaka Castle. Unfortunately, we were welcomed with news that I would have deemed impossible a day ago. Lord Yoshinobu had fled the war for Edo. When word got to Hijikata, he went berserk. In fact, he became almost inconsolable. None of the warriors that were left of those who were able to retreat to Osaka Castle made any attempts to stop Hijikata from his tirades either. I mean, I couldn't really blame Hijikata. Probably everybody felt the same way. The Supreme Commander was arguably the most important man in the Shogun army, and he'd given up. Considering that many men desperately fought his war for him, and he'd run off, it must have left a bitter taste in their mouths. The Shinsengumi too suffered a great loss in the death of Inoue, so the anxiety amongst our ranks was heavy. Regardless, the fleeing of Lord Yoshinobu was inexcusable to the men at the castle. Seeing Hijikata's pride and determination on the battlefield was proof that strong leadership was crucial to the success of their army. Lord Yoshinobu, however, showed no such pride. When the warriors discovered the loss of faith from their leader, dejection pervaded what had remained of this failed campaign. So, the Shinsengumi and what was left of the Shogunate army prepared to leave for Edo. <sighs> the ship rose and fell atop the gentle rhythm of the ocean's waves. I sat beside Yamazaki, who slept soundly in his cabin aboard the ship, headed for Edo. Guess it must be daytime. Yamazaki. He might have pushed himself too far in his fight against Kazuma. Ever since that day, Yamazaki had been unconscious. Man, it's been a while. <sighs> I held his hand tightly, and even though he was asleep, I was rewarded with his warmth. Yamazaki's steady pulse gave me hope, and I closed my eyes to pray for his well-being. Some time had passed since leaving Osaka. If I were to see the view from the deck, I don't think I'd see Osaka or Kyoto anymore. Wow, four years have passed so quickly. It was funny to think how much changed since I first arrived in Kyoto. I'd arrived with the intent of finding my father, and by chance I was captured by the Shinsengumi. Afterwards, I'd become acquainted with Yamazaki, who served as my guard. His watch became even more frequent when we discovered Kazuma and his demon cohorts plotted to kidnap me. Thinking back to it, the person I remembered protecting me all this time was Yamazaki. Even during the war, Yamazaki had given everything to watch out for me, even willing to throw his body away. <sighs> I gripped his hand tightly again. You're gonna wake him up! Emotions I kept secret for so long began to bubble to the surface. What if... What if Yamazaki never wakes up? I'd... I'll be fine. His warm hands moved to stroke my hair softly. Yamazaki! My head shot up instantly. Have you been pretending to sleep all this time? Just so I can hold your hand? Yamazaki! You're awake! Yeah, I think I kind of overslept. Yamazaki lifted his head tenderly, glancing around the room. Where are we? Is this still Osaka Castle? You don't feel the ship rocking, eh? Oh, you see... Ah, uh, I see. I sure did miss a lot. After I explained all that happened to Yamazaki, he let out a big sigh. Then, he tightened and loosened his hand into a fist repeatedly. Um, so, how do you feel? 
surprisingly awesome, and the place where I was shot is all healed. Strangely enough, I feel a lot of power inside me. So, this is what it's like to be a fury. <sighs> Yamazaki's eyes thinned after he thought about what he'd said, and I thought about saying nothing. But I couldn't keep my thoughts to myself, and I asked him a question timidly. Um, Yamazaki? Do you regret drinking the water of life? Before I answer that, I want to ask you a question first. When I drank the serum, you didn't stop me. But I know you... hate that stuff. The normal you would have stopped me. Why was that? Ugh. He stared at me intently, and I sighed. So I quietly told him how I felt. How could I have stopped you? I could see what was going through your mind when you drank it. <sighs> Besides, when you drank the water of life, a thought came to me. Thought? Yes, I thought to myself that if someone were to become a fury out of a desire to protect the Shinsengumi and give up a world with light, then I would stand beside them. No matter how dark your world may be, I'll be right beside you. No. <laughs> Yamazaki was at a loss for words, instead turning to hide the blush in his cheeks. Ah, oh, you can't hide that, I already saw it. For a while his mouth was agape, opening and closing, Yamazaki turned away and muttered, You're not fair. Excuse me? Nothing. Back to the first question. About whether or not I regret drinking the water of life. Yamazaki laughed quietly, and he looked directly into my eyes. After hearing how you felt, I can't say that I feel a single ounce of regret. Um, does that mean... Yes, you've read right through me. Yamazaki softly took my hand. He gazed at it, perhaps soaking in the moment. Even if my future only leads to darkness, as long as I get to share my life with you. Aw. Then you guys really open up much earlier than all the old guys, because everybody else was like, we're not going to show you any affection until the very end, Chizuru. The new guys are practically like, hey, we got limited time here. We gotta jump on it while we can. Let's get to work, guys. I don't know, then again, there is um a little bit of extra material f for the old guy, so maybe they will actually show some affection mid-game for once. Once I get to those guys, we'll see just how much has changed. Yeah, we don't have too much longer. Nagakura is the last new guy left, and then uh, since Kazuma is supposed to have a much longer route now, I'm going to do him after that. Although I think probably most of his new material is also in the second game. But maybe I'll get lucky and there'll be a little extra in here, a little more for him in here than there was for San and Yamazaki and Nagakura. No, I doubt it. Yeah, I think I already have an idea of what kind of playlist I want to do when I go through the old guys, because uh, my my likes in the guys have become a little bit more solidified than they were in the beginning, because I love all of them, but after having gone through the game kind of twice, I do favor certain guys a little bit more than I did the first time. Ah, and here we are with the epilogue. January 1868. The Battle of Tobufushimi ended with the Satsuma and Choshu victorious. As the shogunate troops retreated, the Shinsengumi headed toward Edo. Four years ago, I came to Kyoto all by myself and searched for my father and met the Shinsengumi. I'm going to leave the city of Kyoto, where I made fond memories with the Shinsengumi. He sacrificed his body in order to protect me, gaining strength against those who threaten us. And I have chosen to walk alongside him. We're going to head to Edo, without knowing what fate awaits us. It's pretty much always the same thing, but I still have to read it anyway. And then, so yep, we're going to head on to the tragic love ending. Before we do the bad ending. So we go down to Record of Service, down to Chapter 5 for Yamazaki. Where are you, Yamazaki? Here we are. Select the Low Romance. Yes, and skip until we come to the choices. First choice, I want to be helpful. I've been watching the Shinsengumi all these years. That's why I feel the way I do. Now is the time where I want to help you all more than ever. 
All this time, they'd gone out of their way to protect me, which left me with no real choice. I mean, I could make sure everyone's fed, and I could help clean and repair equipment. That's why I really, more than anything, want to stay here. I'm going to repeat myself. I can't promise that this place will keep you safe. If war breaks out, they'll come straight for us. I'm well aware of that. I nearly shouted at him, and he laughed faintly. <laughs> well, if you've already made up your mind, there's nothing else for me to say. And skipping. And here at this choice, I'm going to save because... In order to get the bad ending, I could just come back to the save and go from there. But as we are going for the tragic love ending, I have to say I know what you mean again. Here we go. He watched as I frantically tried to wrap and apply pressure to his wounds, and he spoke. Yukimura, listen carefully. I can barely move this leg. So, he must run off by herself. Shut up! Please! I leant at my shoulder, helping him stand, and I'd summon my remaining strength to get us walking. Stop it. There's no way you can make it there if you're carrying me. No! No matter how low the odds were, there was no way I could leave Yamazaki behind. I dragged Yamazaki with his arms over my shoulder, desperate to put distance between us and the Satsuma. There they are. They've got a wounded one. Uh, however... I couldn't realistically expect things to go as I'd hoped in a time of war. We'd reached the edge of a cliff, and I'd fallen to my knees from absolute exhaustion. Why don't you leave me behind? There's a chance you'll still make it if you go alone. I don't want to be alone. You've saved me countless times in the past, Yamazaki. It's my turn now. There's no way I'm leaving a comrade behind. My answer was curt, and I looked over the cliff. I made up my mind. Let's jump from here. This isn't a steep cliff. It's a slope. There are plenty of trees. It's a risky, but if it works out... But even if we survive, they can't verify we're dead without bodies, so they'll continue to come after us. What other choice do we have? Even so, we can buy ourselves some time. <sighs> Yukimura, you're far too optimistic to be out on the battlefield. I knew it. We should have never gotten you involved. You deserved a far more peaceful life. Yamazaki slowly reached for my cheeks with his hands, and he stroked them softly before placing his arm onto my shoulders. Goodbye, Yukimura. No, don't say that! Huh? <laughs> Please, survive. Ah! I felt like my body was floating for a second, then my consciousness went black. I'll never forgive you for this! Yamazaki pushed me down the cliff. When I'd regained consciousness, I looked to the sky, then attempted to climb back up, but... I couldn't see any sign of either the Satsuma warriors or Yamazaki. I was immediately filled with fear and regret, and only with a faint glimmer of hope could I head for Osaka. When I'd arrived at Osaka Castle, I was welcomed by the Shinsengumi, who'd felt genuine relief for my safety. But Yamazaki wasn't here with us. I prayed for a safe return, and I waited in front of the castle each day for as long as they'd let me. One day after the next passed, as the war seemed to reach its conclusion, it was decided that the Shinsengumi would return to Edo. I approached Hijikata soon after. I will stay here. Yamazaki may return. Luckily, if I were to remove my male disguise, no one would notice that I used to be a member of the Shinsengumi. Even after the Shinsengumi had left, and the men continued to fight in Edo, I stayed in Osaka. For now, I'm simply a girl living in the city, waiting for a man who would never return. <sighs> well, that sucked. But I'm so glad that, uh, Yamazaki has a route in here, and it's sad that he has to be a fury, but... For God's sakes, at least for once, amongst twelve routes, he finally gets to survive. I mean, he has to die eleven times, but <laughs> at least in one route he survives. Too bad there's no way to save poor Inoue. I think it would be kind of interesting if more than one... Because you, you notice, when you go on all the routes, except for Sanin and Heisuke, it's only like one other person becomes a fury, but it's like, 
why, you know, really a couple of the guys could end up becoming furies because of circumstances. I think it would be interesting. I mean, they could definitely come up with some interesting scenarios if that happened. Well, then again, we still have Edo Blossoms coming up, so and maybe they actually do that, and I don't know yet. I have the feeling that they don't, though. All right, so that was Tragic Love, and now we're on to Bad Ending. Give me your bad ending. Surrender it to me. Alright, so continue on that save that I made. And instead of I know what you mean, you, you are fighting Yamazaki. I shook my head. Please don't think of it as you're the only one not fighting out there. But that's the reality. I haven't fought a single enemy soldier. Not a single drop of blood has been spilled by me. Not even when you held the people back at, at the Ikeda incident? Are you really going to tell me that I've been fighting alongside my comrades? Yes, of course I am. Yamazaki's eyes grew wide from surprise as I beamed with encouragement. War isn't just killing other men. Even if you don't swing a sword, you risk your life every day doing what you do best, Yamazaki. So don't say you haven't fought for us. Yeah, you have a super important job relaying information. <laughs> You're right. Just like everyone else, huh? Alright, so we met up with some Satsuma warriors. The second I'd seen the gunpowder ignite and the bullet leave the barrel, my vision blurred. Oh! However, I felt no pain. Just a searing hot sensation through my chest, somewhere through my organs. All I could gather was that it had torn through a place that triggered a flash of memories. My healing powers were nothing to me anymore. My heart had been blown to pieces, and I fell beside Yamazaki to the ground. Uh, uh. Alright, time to finish him off. They're gonna die here. Just leave him be. We still got a tail after the runners. Whoa. With hazy vision... I saw Shimada leap out of nowhere, taking a frenzied swing at the enemy soldiers. Yamazaki, Yukimura. Shimada. Yamazaki struggled to speak, and he coughed up bright red blood instead. Shimada, who had returned to find us, shook his head out of disappointment, and he gazed into our eyes painfully. Yukimura, Yamazaki, any last words? Tell Commander. Tell everyone that I'm sorry. As the words left his mouth, my vision went dark. Got it. I promise I'll tell him. Shimada's voice sounded like it grew farther away. So please, rest in peace. Together, Yamazaki's face became distant, and I wanted to cry. My hand shook as it reached for his. Yamazaki... Chizaru. At least we could dream together at long last. Oh, I like that bad ending. It's... Oh, we got to die together. And we had last words together. It was nice. As bad endings go. <sighs> so yeah, like I said, next episode we'll finally be starting on Magakura Shinpachi. So hope to see you there or in some of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye bye everybody.